and that's because of you. So 100% all I want to say is my gratitude, my thanks. Um, I will never be able to pay back ever. In a million years, I'll never be able to pay back to this community what you've given to me ever. So I'll try by just saying thank you, but, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, this is especially because I'm so, so honored. I am so humbled that I got to serve you. So thank you.
people not to hate. Um, oh. Oswald. This next teacher uh, is another graduate of St. Pat's, uh, an alum who came back and, and gave back to the school in many different ways. Um, he's, he's seated, or he's standing among you right now. <laughs> He is uh, actually he's video gaming, he's been someone that you've seen any time you've Turn the camera on your phone. Wi-Fi. Oh, it's me guys, me. Mr. Wolf, so we'll have good Wi-Fi in the staff has been able to go to whenever they need to, and we are forever in his, his debt. We, uh, we really appreciate everything that he's done. He is someone who has made our school uh, an environment that is so technologically advanced that uh, other schools constantly ask, how come your school is so good? And I say usually two words, two names. So um, we're really proud of everything that he's done here. He will be missed. Um, West Point Gray's gain is our loss. But he has left so much here in terms of a legacy, in terms of what he has done for the school, that uh, he says we're in good hands, so I trust that we are. So thank you, Mr. Molina.
Well, Carmen, I've been uh, waiting for my turn. So, it's my turn.
who is about to join me in retirement. I was lucky for 31 years to work with him in this, the very best school in the province. Stars. His team won. They won often. 
They also suffered their share of losses. But wins and losses did not matter. What did matter was that his players loved being on his team. As athletic director, it's easy to see his impact. Look at the Raptors. Somebody answer that. <laughs> Mr. R, in one way or another, has had a hand in every one of those matters. Before he arrived, this gym was void of any matters. Today it's both. All that success came from this one small school with no soccer or track field, a cafeteria for the wrestlers, and with a stage for a fitness training. With much less than other schools, Mr. R has led our school to tremendous, tremendous success. Mr. R worked hard finding the best coaches for our teams. He worked hard juggling schedules and finding gym time, organizing tournaments, and ensuring there was enough transportation for all our teams. He also made sure our athletes were the best dressed, with the best uniforms, and who can, and who can forget his year-end athletic maintenance. As a professional, he taught me and so many others what professionalism means. In his 38 years, he rarely missed a day. Mr. R was fully prepared for all his classes. He was one of the first teachers here to dive into technology. He loved to learn, still does. Five years ago, he was beset by a medical crisis. He could have retired then. I remember talking to him, and even suggested he consider retiring. Most people would have retired. I sure would have. Not him. Instead, he worked incredibly hard. So he could return to work. To this place he loves. Because he wanted to be with you. The people he loved the most. His students. Just this past year, He again, we again, were witness to his, to his dedication, even as he faced unspeakable, unspeakable personal tragedy. He is just not a dedicated professional. He is an inspiration. As a friend, we're very fortunate. His humor, his loyalty, his support, and his generosity has enriched all of us. My work as a teacher, as a coach, as an administrator would have been so much more difficult if it hadn't been for Mr. Rizzullo supporting and encouraging me along the way. I owe, I owe him a huge debt of gratitude. This school owes him a huge debt of gratitude. Mr. R, I have to talk and listen. <laughs> but I won't stop. I could talk endlessly about you and all of your roles, but instead, I want to take a few minutes to congratulate you on your inspirational career and to thank you on behalf of all of us. Thank you for everything you've ever done. No matter the situation, it was always made easier and more fun because of you. Thank you for showing us teachers how to relate to students. Your joy for them was infectious. Thank you for showing us how to relate to staff. Your common sense approach always brought us through. Thank you for your enthusiasm. You made going to work an event for all of us. Thank you for showing us how to love and to care for our school. You are the heart behind the Celtic spirit. Thank you for showing us how to be a professional. You always did your job expertly, teaching, coaching, and everything in between. Thank you for sharing your faith. You always gave us hope. Thank you showing us how to continue to push forward. Your resilience and your courage continue to inspire all of us. Mr. R, thank you for being our friend, and welcome to retirement.
to say thank you to Mr. Donji for coming back and saying those wonderful words. That retirement party for Mr. Renzulo about a week and a half ago. And uh, a lot of people got up to talk. It was, a lot, it was great to hear what so many people have to say. But it wasn't due to me. Um, because I've been hearing these kind of things throughout my time at CISDA. Uh, Mr. Renzulo, in, in, in Italian, they, they call your uncle your zeal. In, uh, and it doesn't matter if he's your uncle or not, he can be a close friend and you still call him zeal instead of respect. Um, I know uh, with the Filipino communities I've been around, it is Tito. <laughs> and I've been called Tito Ralph many times, and I'm not your uncle. But it's out of respect. And I think that this gentleman here, he epitomizes what it means to be someone's Tito. <laughs> so Mr. Renzulo, thank you for everything that you do for us. Uh, I think all of these kids here can, can attest to the fact that you love them all so very much. We're so very proud of everything that you've done for St. Pat's. And um, we look forward to seeing you again next year. If you can come up here with me, Mr. Renzulo, I have a presentation for you.
Thank you, sir. Uh, I want to say thank you for helping me. Obviously, it's cool to see you. I'm with you. Uh, I love you. Oh, cool. 
behalf of the school, we'd like to give each of you a copy of the video as a farewell keepsake from all of us students at St. Pat's. Because remember, once a Celtic, always a Celtic! Thank you for everything. Now, as we all know, there is one person among this group who has been with us for 37 years and who is officially retiring. Mr. Rizzo, we feel that this incredible contribution earns an extra special send-off. Over the past two months, Kayla uh, Salcino from Grade 11 has been busy collecting memorabilia, photographs, and farewell messages from the staff. She has compiled a personal keepsake book for you as a humble token of our school's appreciation for you as an individual. Invaluable life service as a Celtic. Kyla, please come forward on behalf of all of us to present this unique St. Pat's story to our beloved Mr. Renzo To conclude our assembly, a group of dedicated Celtic singers led by Gabby Side and supported by Miss Tina Burry, Mrs. Brown, and Miss Castro, and Emily Wall, would like to sing to you an adapted version of an old Italian favorite, Volere. This is a final send off. In true Mandula style, to all of you who are moving on. The school and staff are invited to join in only on the two chorus lines that will show light on our screen. Only on the two guys, don't worry. Just the two. Together we sing our au revoir till we meet again. Once the Celtic. <laughs> Once the Celtic. Always the Celtic. Thank you very much. Would the singers please come forward to lead Volare at the end. <laughs>
over this past year ensure that whether you listen to the announcement, at least they were said. So I'd like to call up uh, the five grade 11s who were part of our announcement crew this year, Gabby Sai, Patricia Romali, Bernice Chen, Nan Tran, and Matthew Magathas. Would you please come forward? For the last time, Kyle and Kyle.
before I guess this, and what is it? It's 134, an hour before our actual dismissal time, so that's pretty cool. And um, one of the announcements is any grade 11s that would like to be graduates next year, uh, please see Ms. Ignacio in room 205. And uh, there's still going to be music outside, uh, outside of our, our school. If you'd like to stay and hang around and listen to it, it's uh, a wonderful opportunity to hear your fellow songs play for you. And with that, I'd say um, enjoy your weekend. Have a safe weekend.